Så vi ska nu är att vi ska göra lite siduppdrag och göra lite trivia. Så det vi ska börja med är att åka till Red Rock Canyon till The Great Cans område här. Och så ska ni få se en så kallad easter egg eller trivia då då. Då är det första trivian här så ska ni få se. something about how much the great cons suck. What do you want? What are you doing? Uh, nothing really. Just trying to psych myself up to try my initiation. Again. It sounded like you were writing poetry. Oh, you heard that, huh? Okay, so yeah, I was writing poetry. I know, I know, it's not a very great con-like thing to do. The followers of the Apocalypse came to our camp when I was a kid, and they brought a bunch of old books. I used to read pre-war poetry for hours. Why isn't the poetry great con-like? Have you seen this tribe? If it's not an epic drunken ballad of cracking skulls and hearing lamentations, they think it's a waste of time. Sounds like you're not happy being a great con. Maybe you'd be happier someplace else. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe I can find my true calling someplace they'll appreciate my poetry. Someplace like the old Mormon fort, maybe. Do you think the followers of the Apocalypse would take me? I remember all those books they brought us when they visited our tribe. Why don't you go out? Probably you seem like their type. You think so? I mean, I'd go myself, but what if they said no? The cons wouldn't take me back, and then I'd have nobody. I could ask them for you. You'd do that? Thanks! I mean, I'd go myself, but what if they said no? The cons wouldn't take me back, and then I'd have nobody. Later. The Mormon the Mormon style. Now we have to back to free side to Mormon photo to talk with the followers of Apocalypse. Yeah, the punks citat in om indulgement är en referens till någon liknande karaktär från TV. Från tv-serien eller om det är comicboken Buffy the Vampire Slayer Just det här Förut så gjorde vi ett uppdrag där vi skulle hjälpa Followers som Apocalypse att få med två snubbarna nu på kvällen Oj, då kommer jag Vad handlar det om där två? Oj, då måste vi hjälpa honom här innan De Försöker få ihjäl So yeah. You have chems, buddy? I could really use a fix. Julia Farta said you could help you some help. Julie's a saint, but I don't need help. I feel young and strong. As long as I get my chems. You look pretty bad, Jacob. You should probably stop using chems. Why stop? I feel great. No worries. My guy will be here soon enough. Just wait. Who was supplying you? If I had two caps to scrape together, I'd buy the materials to make my own. My damn hands won't stop shaking. This guy named Dixon. Something about him seems sketchy, but I can't stop now. Last time I stopped, I felt like I was gonna turn inside out. 
At this point, I'm mostly buying his stuff just so I don't feel sick. Speaking of which, do you have any spare caps? I took care of that uh, dealer. I took ta I took care of that dealer. Now you can clean up. What? I need a fix now. I want to help you get well, Jacob. Fine. If you really care so much, then give me some shots of fixer to calm down these shakes. I'm gonna need at least ten shots to get me through the week. From there, the followers should be able to help. A combination of fixer, psycho, and buffer. Buffett will do it in one shot. Never thought about using that combination before. Should be able to get through this with that. Jacob, be strong. You just need the support of your friends to get through this. I think you're right. I've been through worse. I'll go to the fort and see if the followers can watch over me while I recover. No. For now, it's a very poor man up to that. We still snack them in that bill on at slutet av rådgör och återvänder till fotot. Och nu har vi alltså pratat med den här Jacob för att få honom att sluta också att använda de där rådorna. Så det var det vi gjorde nu. Så vi basically återkopplade en gammal trust som vi aldrig gjorde färdigt vid det. Oj, det verkar vara någon bandit här som håller på. Smoke rising from the east spells trouble. I hope the Legion isn't on the move. I met a kid who's unsatisfied. I met a kid who's unsatisfied with his life in the Great Cairns. Will you take him on as a follower? We're always looking for new members. Does he have any particular talent? He's obviously bright. A sensitive soul and he loves literature. Excellent. Ezekiel's been after me to find him a new assistant for ages. Tell the boy we'll take him. Bra, då var det ett lot. Då ska vi bara snacka med. Ja, det tydligen hade vi inte lite puttat klart med den här bil, så vi ska tillbaka dit och bara prata med honom. <hör>, Hör av bil, nu ska vi prata med honom, för vi hade ju tagit ett tur med den där råghandlaren Dixie, som hade tillförslat om med de här drogerna hela tiden. Come on, man, I'm dying here. You won't be seeing Dixie anymore. What the hell? Why? I need alcohol, man. I'm gonna die if I don't get a drink. You need to kick the habit, Bill. I can help you. The only way you can help me now is a load of detox cams. What do you need? At least a couple of doses of Fixer, a, a bottle of whiskey, and Radaway. I can take doses of Fixer and Radaway to gradually flush my system over time while drinking decreasing shots of diluted whiskey. This shit better be worth it, man. Regulating decreasing dose of booze with a couple of shots of fixer should do it. Man, you're one hell of an egghead. If you think it'll work, I'll give it a shot. Bill, Julie, and the rest of your friends miss you. They need your help. Oh, Julie, I've really screwed things up. I'll head over to the fort and get some rest. This has gone on too long.
Så ja, nu är vi tillbaka till här för vi ska prata med han här borta och äh, återvända med honom till äh, followers. The followers have agreed to take you on as a member. Head to the old Mormon fort. It did? Oh, that's great. Thank you. I'm out of this crummy camp. Nu ska vi tillbaka igen för vi ska med den här Julia Farka så att Ja, att de här två gubbarna är gladdade nu. Kan jag hjälpa dig? I helped you with that education problem you... I helped you... I helped with that addiction problem you mentioned. I saw them. Thank you so much for helping them. This means a lot to the followers of the apocalypse. You have our thanks. If you need some medical supplies, come see me. With Jacob working with us, we should be able to spare a stim or fixer once a day. Då var vi klara med det uppdraget, då ska vi till det där för nu ska jag berätta om en ny... Um, då ska jag berätta om en ny uh, easter egg, samtidigt som vi ska börja med ett annat uppdrag. Wow, baby. Am I looking at a mirror? Or are you just that ugly? Wow, why the hostility? Come on, stay in character. You're supposed to be heckling me. I bother you embarrassing yourself enough as it is this. Hey, not bad. Your timing's terrible and you got no style. But you might make it as a professional heckler. Thanks, but that's not why I'm here. What? You mean you're not part of the act? Huh. Sorry. Thought you were the heckler Garrett hired to spice up the shows. So, who are you, exactly? Either you need to get your eyes checked, or that famous fleeting thing is true. And since I happen to be world famous, you must be going blind. Name's Hadrian. Bet you never saw a ghoul in a suit before, huh? Of course, you don't exactly strike me as the worldly type. So you perform stand-up comedy, huh? Yeesh, is my act that bad? Or are you just that dumb? Yeah, that's right. Got me a nice juicy contract with the management. That's showing you from the economic state of Freeside, they can't be paying you that much. Okay, I admit it. I ain't exactly rowing in caps here. But what do you want? I'm under contract. I can't get out. Yeah, go on. Scram. Then the cool comic Hadrian Lord. Är referens till en komiker som är legend i Las Vegas som heter Don Rickle. Här har du en äh, stil då med äh, one-liners äh, för att föreläppa sig nästa i publiken. Speglar Don Rickles äh, stand-up. Ja, och äh, då man får även se en direkt referens när han ut, när Hadrian utför den här i Isis teatret at the top. Då gör han till exempel kommentarer som uh, Svank is here, ladies and gentlemen, make yourself at home, Svank. Hit somebody. Vilket också är en direkt referens till ett skämt som Don Rickles gjorde en gång till Frank Sinatra. Äh, det var den där jazzsången. Make yourself at home, Frank. Hit, hit somebody. Nu ska vi börja med ett nytt uppdrag som finns inne i The Tops. Som är också kopplad till uh, den där uh, gulen vi mötte på då, Hadrian. <skratt> I Wrangler. Och så finns det en till uh, person som vi har stött på tidigare, under tidigare avsnitt, som också inkluderade den här storyn då. Så nu ska ni få veta mer alldeles strax. Ja, nu ska vi försöka hitta en av snubben som kommer ge oss det här uppdraget. Ring a ding, baby. Hey, hey, 
Welcome, welcome, welcome to the finest entertainment experience in New Vegas. My name is Tommy Torini, and how can I make your night? Tell me about this theater. Well, it was my idea. Well, me and the rest of the Rad Pack boys. We took it to Benny, and he thought it was a good idea. A few years later, here we are. The best show in New Vegas. What do you do here? Well, apart from serving as a talent manager, show schedule, and all-around man in charge of this fine theater, I happen to be its headline act. Every night from 8 till midnight, come on by to see the Rad Pack Review live. Only right here at the Aces Theater. Really? What kind of entertainment do you have? Well, acts are a bit thin on the ground right now. But every night from 8 to midnight, we got the Rad Pack Review. Songs, dancing, jokes, we got it all. Maybe I could help you find some more acts for your show. Sure, baby, sure. Tommy's always looking for new talent to bring to the Aces. Tell you what, you see any good acts while you're out wandering, give them my card. If they work out, I'll give you a 3% cut of the door. Just swing back by as you recruit folks. I'll get you your bread. Sure, I keep an eye out. Ring a ding, my card. Ja, då ska vi börja med att gå ut genom dörrarna ska vi försöka hitta den första underhållaren. I just have a few questions. All right, then make it snappy, kid. This isn't exactly a lucrative career enterprise here. Tommy Torini at the tops is having entertainment. I could have put a... How long have you been doing comedy? If you believe my mother since she first laid eyes on me. First thing she said was, boy, that's a funny looking kid. I guess I got a face only a mother could love because no one else would give me the time of day. Hey, maybe you can help me. See, I can never tell when it's lunchtime. So you're looking for your big break? Breaks better than a shot. Less chance of lead poisoning. Hey, if you know any gigs hiring, I'll work cheap. Real cheap. I'll take peanuts. I'll take the shells. Who are you? The name's Knight. Billy Knight. And this here's what a lifelong career in comedy will get you. Oi. But no, we're standing on a street corner in the middle of nowhere. That's exactly my point, kid. Exactly my point! Tommy Torini at the top is hiring entertainers. I could, have put, a, I could put in a word for you. Yeah? Hey, you're all right. Tell him I'll do it for a hundred a night. No, fifty. No, twenty. Ten. Just don't rob me. I'll do it. Don't sell yourself short. You're worth a lot more than that. Whoa, geez, what was I thinking? You're right. I gotta go in there with a cool head. Tell them how much I'm really worth. Bra, utmärkt. Då ska vi tämta nästa snubbe. Well, if it isn't my number one fan, what can I do for you, number one fan? Tommy Torini is hiring new acts at the tops. I think you could make good money. Too bad I got this ironclad contract with the Garretts. They'll never let me out of it. I could talk to Garretts and try to convince him to let you go. Huh. Good luck. Garretts a tough, mean son of a bitch. He's not likely to give up. Let me know if you make any headway. I hear the Legion is camping out across the river. I hope they're not planning to attack. Those bloodthirsty mole rats are never up to any good. I'd like to get Hadrian out of his contract. Now why would I want to do that? His performances make me quite a lot of money. It's not the right fit to this place. It'd be fine, better performers. I suppose you've got a point. Plenty of Brahmin on the prairie and all that. Fine, I'll cut him loose. He's all yours. Hey 
Any luck with Garrett yet? Uh, Garrett's agreed to let you out of your contract. You can work. You can go work at the tops. Really? You mean I'm finally out of this shithole? That's great. Thank you. So, there were two more till and all stars. Och det är nu vi ska hämta en till snubbe som är här borta, som vi har träffat på tidigare. Han vi ska hämta... Han som vi ska möta upp, det är den här gitarrsnubben som vi mötte på tidigare, tidigare avsnitt. Tommy Torini at the tops is looking for musical acts if you're interested. Hmm, maybe it's time to give these tired old bones a rest. All right, show me what you've got. Oh, take this card. Tell him I'm sent to. Much obliged to you, friend. Så, då är det sista stället vi ska till och det är ni hit till Novak. Oh, please don't kill me. I swear I'll have... Wait. You don't work for Mr. Bishop, do you? No, I don't. What makes you think that? Sorry, it's just you look like his type, you know. You got that hard-ass wasteland explorer thing going on. Or aren't you that singer from New Reno? I think I saw you play the club star. Oh, so you have heard of me. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I was the big draw at the Shark Club. People used to pay hundreds of caps to see me. Why did you come all the way out here from New Reno? You don't know Mr. Bishop. He's not like other bosses up there. He knows the wasteland like the back of his hand, and he likes to wander it. I knew if I didn't get way the hell away from New Reno, he'd run me down like a dog. Why would this Mr. Bishop be after you? Oh, well, that's all just a big misunderstanding, see? Mr. Bishop, well, he owed me a lot of money, and, uh, you know, he's a busy guy, so I sort of figured I'd just take it off his hands. You robbed the casino boss? Robbed is such an ugly word. It's more like I took care of a payroll problem for him. Also, I might have, uh, sort of plowed his daughter. A little. You really don't know when to quit, do you? I guess I don't. That's why I'm here. But, um, that's a tough bridge. Good luck with that. If you're looking for a word as a senior, Tommy Torini is at the tops is hiring. Really? The tops, huh? Well, it's no shark club, but I hear security on the strip is real tight. Even Mr. Bishop wouldn't hit a joint like that. I'll check it out. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. See you later. Oh, the hell? What's that? The hell? Fishing here from Fallout 3, the Museum of Technology. Then I do a reference to that we saw. Let us toss up to the end. And there is a museum that you find in Fallout 3, so we can visit it. Ja, den där snubben var lite lustig. Ja, jag tror att du berättade att eh, när han eh, nämnde den här eh, The Bishop och så vidare, det är en referens till Fallout 2. Då finns det ett uppdrag där man kan som huvudkaraktär göra där man ska försöka lösa något problem med någon sån här maffiaboss som heter The Bishop. Eh, som en tillhör någon sån här maffiafamilj i staden New Reno tror jag heter. 
Och då så tänkte jag inte med man ligger med antingen mamman i den familjen eller med äh, dottern till den här maffiabossen. Så efter slutet, när man har slutat spelet, då kommer en sån här, då, då kommer en sån här text fram. Där, där man beskriver vad som händer efter slutet och sådär. Och då så beskriver de hur det är att det är barn är föds. Då nu är det nu som beter sig som The Wasteland och då kommer till att vandra ut i det. Ödemarken och sådär. Och tar efter från fadern alltså huvudet här när man då eh, låg med någon av de två kvinnorna. Och sen då är väl hans referens jag väl då just till det slutet. Att då när The Bishop då är då barn till eh, huvudet här i två år. Och att han då är påminner mycket om pappan som var ute och utforskad ut i The Wasteland. Då ska vi tillbaka till The Tops och eh, göra klart uppdraget. Det är lite kul, då får man ha lite bra musik och stand up på allt möjligt. Hej, hej, välkommen, välkommen, välkommen till den finaste entertainment experience i New Vegas. Min namn är... Let's talk about the acts I recruited. The cowboy act? Ja, yeah. he dropped on in here not too long before you. He's got chops, baby, real chops. And I ain't just talking about that mustache. And like we agreed, here's your fee. Three percent of the cut comes to a hundred caps. Don't spend them all in one place now, unless it's right here. You talking about Mr. Isaac? Damn, baby, when you bring them in, you bring them in. That cat's gonna bring me money like you wouldn't believe. Here's your three percent, baby. You enjoy that. Oh. So, so, let's start about the act I recruited. That comedian, you mean? Yeah, he was a hell of a haggler. Cost me a pretty cap. Hope he's worth it. Here's your three percent. That ugly mug with the razor tongue? Dig it, baby. He'll be one hell of a novelty act. Just like Tommy promised. Here's your three percent. Sounds straight. You know it, baby. Hang loose, baby. The way I hear it, some big leaguer NCR rangers are coming to town to dance a two-step all over Caesar's head. Well, if it isn't my number one fan, what can I do for you, number one fan? You're the fink that killed Benny. Oh, it's you again. What is it? Jag vet inte om man kan se någon sjunga eller något sånt där, men man kanske kan åka tillbaka och kolla om det går sen, senare vid någon senare avslut. Nu ska vi göra sista saken och det är att besöka en liten intressant ställe för en ytterligare kostbygg. Hi, what can I do for you? What is this place? You saw our front sign, didn't you? This is where all the beautiful signs of the strip become a reality. It all comes from Michelangelo's imagination. We do a little work here and there too, sure, but he's the real artist. Who is Mitchell Angelo? He's the reason the strip shines like a star at night. Mike's imagined and built every sign, billboard, and light you'll see around here. Where can I find Mitchell Angelo? Check out the back of the shop. He's usually working there. How long have you been worked here? I've been here over a year now. Though I'm not one to get tired for long. I plan to roam the wasteland once I'm ready. The people need light and kindness. There's too much fear and pain out there already. Bye. Där uppe, ja. Hello. Excuse me, but I'm busy. Mm. 
Oh, hello, I am Michelangelo. How can I... Uh, wait. Are you here to deliver more billboard requests? Please tell me you're not a messenger on behalf of Mr. House. No, I'm not here for anything like that. Who are you? Hmm, that's great to hear. Really great. I'm Sheldon from Vault 21. Although here I go by my artistic name, Michelangelo. So what brings you here? An artist, rare thing to see. What's your story? Well, I... Uh, not much, really. Vault 21 was my home. My dear home. I left it to explore the outside world. At first it was a marvel to behold. My inspiration flowed true and its works caught Mr. House's attention. And that's how I ended up in this place. You lived in Vault 21. Tell me about it. Most people don't uh, understand what it means to grow up in a vault. Its corridors, its walls, radiate a warmth that feels safe, honest. But here, everything is huge and threatening. It's so empty that I think one of these days I'll just snap. Do you know where uh, Dutch Mitchell? You mean Mitch? Oh, it's been ages since I've heard the name. My sister and I used to call him Mole Butt. <laughs> Don't ask. That was a long time ago. Before we exchanged the warmth of our home for the thin air of the wasteland. It sounds as you don't like this place. What's wrong with it? I feel haunted by something terrible. Working in such a huge workshop often makes me shiver. I can't even leave the strip. So is this fear of the outside world draining you inspiration? Yes, I think so. But please, uh, keep quiet about it. Without inspiration, I'm as good as a tumbleweed drifting in the barren wasteland. Why don't you pack up and return to World 21? Wouldn't that be great? No, Mr. House filled it with concrete. Only a few rooms and halls remain. My sister was able to turn them into a hotel. But you seem to dread hearing about Mr. House's request. What is the problem? It's this place. My inspiration ebbs and I don't know how to stop it. Oh, I can't feel the warmth anymore. Oh, well, alright. So, um, bye. Oh. Ja, men det var det. Det var väl lite kul att besöka honom. Ja, se hans inspirationskonst. Eller se hans konst i alla fall. Ja, det finns ett att dra den, men ja... Det känns som att det inte passar Leonard egentligen. De andra två uppdragen var väl egentligen ett undantag. Så vi gör ingenting mer för den där snubben. Då ses vi nästa gång och i nästa avsnitt kommer vi att eh, besöka McCarran och göra lite uppdrag där för NCR. Och kanske även besöka några av deras andra utposter så småningom. Vi får se. Vi hörs.